My name is James Borshad. I'm the CEO of Circle Urban Ministries, author of the book Governing Rules of Dating and Relationships, where we teach people the principles for relating in a ship together. I often say we have relationship. Today I'm going to talk to you about something that I'm going to take 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes to talk about something that normally takes me 30 to 45 minutes to do. So we've got a little bit of time. Buckle your seatbelt strap in. You all ready to go? Listen, my misery is the maternity ward for the mission in my life. So I am pregnant with the word for you today, and I need your help to birth this word out. So when I say got it, you say got it. Got it? Got it. Good. All right, let's get going. Listen, in the beginning, God created man, and he gave man four key things to do. Number one, number one, he said God created, God created man. He said um, be fruitful, multiply, replenish, have dominion. Say it with me. Be fruitful multiply, replenish, have dominion. Say it like you mean it. Fruitful, multiply, replenish, have dominion. Now listen, that was not a command. That was not a suggestion. That was a decree from a king. There's a humongous difference, and here's why. When God said be fruitful and multiply, people think that's a suggestion that he told us. So we have an, with a suggestion, you have an, op an option to be fruitful, an option to multiply. Not at all. He said be fruitful, multiply, replenish, have dominion, which means in everything you do, you will produce fruit, you will multiply, you will replenish, and you will have dominion. This is an edict from a king. So the king gave you the ability to have dominion. That's where the word kingdom come from. The king's dominion on the earth. Who did he give that to? You or himself? Who did he give that to? You. He said you have king dominion. Here's why that's important. You have three things that will stop you from the king's dominion. Write these words down if you're taking notes. Remember. Forget, forgive. Say that with me. Remember, forget, forgive. Listen, when Christ, when, when the fall of man took place, we were put out of a place of peace that Dr. A said for us. So let me go back and teach you what the Garden of Eden actually means because we have been told that it was a place on earth. The word garden means secret place. The word Eden means of pleasure or peace. Secret place of pleasure or peace. That is a mind frame. That is an atmosphere. That is why the Bible has told us, as you think, so shall you be. So you must guard your peace like your life depends on it because guess what? It does. How many of you have been stuck in your life? Stuck, stuck, stuck. So listen, if you're taking notes and you want to know what this is about, it's called Born to Thrive, Kingdom Principles for Getting Unstuck. So I told you to write down three words. What were they? Remember, forget, forgive. Here's why those words are important. Remember actually means reestablishing membership. Mm, can I get two people to help me real quick? Real quick. I got two people. Two people. Quick. Come on. Come on, you two. Yeah. Come on, Doc. Both of you. Reestablishing membership. Now, you said you've been stuck. This, this is the beginning of your life. Step down here. He is the end of your life. Sometimes as we're going through life, we're walking through, and we have a situation that catches us, and we are stuck. But guess what we do when we remember? We go, we go from the ability to move forward to reestablishing membership in a place that we're trying to get out of. So you have to guard your mentality like your life depends upon it. Word number two, forget. Those, that word comes from two words. Forward getting. Forward getting. The ability to get what is ahead of you. I'm going to say that again. The ability to get what is ahead of you. This is why there are some things you got to put out of your mind. Let me put it. Let me bring it home. Some of you have been dealing with a situation. Marriage didn't work out. Job didn't work out. Pe kids getting on my last nerves. And instead of moving forward or giving yourself the ability to forward get, you reestablish membership in a time period of your life that you are trying to escape from. So one of the keys to getting unstuck is to ensure that you understand where you reestablish membership. I go into 
pleasurable places when I reestablish membership and I forget. This is why the Bible says, forgetting those things which are behind me and moving towards those things which are in front, I press. Sometimes it's gonna be, sometimes it's gonna be hard. You've got to kick the door down, push through, and press towards the mark. And last but not least, he said, forgive. If you knew what that is, you would, be, you would be running through here shouting. He says, give yourself the permission to go forward. That's why old folks used to say, grandmama used to say, forgiving is not for them. It's for you. Forgiving, two words, giving yourself permission to move forward. Some of you have not given yourself permission to move forward at all. You are stuck in a place that you are trying to get out of. Someone hurt you. Someone disgusted you. Someone talked about you, someone misused you, but you have not given yourself permission to move forward. Now, this is why when Christ came, he, listen, of all the things he told us we could pray, he said, say these words, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, the king's dominion come. Thy will be done on earth exactly the way that it is in heaven. So that's what was planned for our original relationship with Christ, with God. He said, I want you to have dominion on earth exactly the way I have dominion in heaven. He says, give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. In other words, give us the opportunity to move forward. Understand? Got it? Oh, let's try that again. Got it? Got it? Good. So listen, you have three things you need to remember. You have to protect what you re-establish membership in. Number two, you have to give yourself permission to move forward. And number three, you have to give yourself permission to go and get what is ahead of you in order to go from a time period in your life that has destroyed you, hurt you, broken up, marriage, divorce, etc. You have to give yourself permission to move forward. Amen? Amen. That's my time.